a new vlog. I tried heatless curls last night. My mom got me one of these things for Christmas. I have tried heatless curls before, but with a robe, it did not work. They looked terrible. So I really, this is the year of healthy hair and healthy skin for me, I have decided. I am putting all of my energy into those two things. Um, which means I don't want to put a lot of heat on my hair this year. So that's where heatless curlers come in. I just, I don't, I don't know if I've gotten the hang of it quite yet. I feel like it got really loose while I was sleeping, which I don't know if that's supposed to happen. Last time I tried these with a robe, they were still damp because I sprayed my hair with a little bit of water before I put them in last night. So I'm going to blow dry them because if they come out damp, it's just kind of game over. So I feel like this side is in pretty well. This side is a whole nother story though. I just feel like this side's going to look so much worse. Moment of truth. John's here for the reveal. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Oh, see, they're still a little damp. My hair just does not dry quickly. It curls a lot, though. I don't think I tightened them enough up here because this is just flat. flat. <laughs> but it's really curly at the bottom. Okay. What do you think? Wait, I'm actually kind of shocked. What? That is really curly. <gasps> oh, my, I'm so excited. I mean, this looks like literal it up here because it's so flat. I'm gonna hit it with a little hairspray. Like obviously there's room for improvement. <laughs> I need to figure out how to make sure this isn't totally flat up here, but <laughs> I'm choking on hairspray. I'm gonna put in a little bit of hair oil. This is from Kerastase. It's their Nutri Supplement Split Ends Serum. I mean, I don't know what's happening here. I think it's because this side was so low. Maybe I should fix that. I think that's better. I wonder how long it'll last today. I'm excited to see. Anyway, welcome back to a new vlog. <laughs> flew by way too quickly um so i really hope this year doesn't feel that way i don't like the winter honestly i don't know why i live in boston <laughs> but i feel like i'm always like wishing away winter and wishing for the summer or just looking forward to the next thing and i really that is a goal of mine this year to not have that mindset because I feel like it makes life go by so quickly. Just like wishing the days away. When I feel like these are days I really should be valuing. Whether it's a gross winter day or not. I'm trying to drink more water this year, so I just filled this up. And then I have been, probably for the last couple months, I've been starting my morning, every morning, with this Power Greens from Nature Sunshine and my seed. Uh, pre and probiotic. John's mom got me this little um teacup for christmas and i just think it's the most adorable thing ever i have so many little or what is this a teapot a teapot <laughs> i have so many tiny little teacups and saucers that were my grandmother's and after she passed away i got a lot of these little things that she had which is so special to me so i this is like the only one from this set though how adorable is that? I just made some tea in this. I feel like I've been having little solo tea parties lately because of this teapot and I just love it. I'm gonna do a little bit of journaling. I'm really trying to get back into my morning routines, consistent daily morning routines this year because I used to be so good about spending a little bit of time working on myself every morning and I feel like the days where I have the best days are the days that I start working on myself in the morning. This is the year we're getting back into that. 
Um, I'm not a huge New Year's resolution person in terms of making massive goals for myself because I just know myself and they will not happen. Doing a little bit of journaling in the morning and just focusing on gratitude and goals and just letting words and thoughts flow and just being present with myself, I feel like sets such a positive tone for my day and I feel like I'm so much more optimistic and like aware of little positive moments instead of getting stressed about little things throughout the day. You know what I mean? I have my five minute journal that I still have so many pages left in. So I'm going to keep doing this because I like the little prompts in it. Um, but I also just got this and I want to get back into doing like a daily diary because I used to keep these in middle school and high school. And it was so fun just like writing to yourself. I have my great great grandmother's diary which is probably an invasion of privacy but it's so cool because it's from so long ago and it's just fun to read about her life and it like I found it the other day again I've had it for years but I came across it the other day and it made me want to start writing down just random entries from each day so I'm gonna do that in this book this is from anthropology I also have another journal. <laughs> My mom got John and I this for Christmas. It is so cute. I'll see if I can, I'm sure I can find the link online and I'll link it below, but it's one question a day for couples and it's a three year journal. And I just think it's so fun. Each page has a question and then it has um, three years under it and two spots for each person to write each year. So. Um, wow, our question today is if you could change one thing in your daily routine, what would it be? I feel like that's a sign. <laughs> but yesterday's was what can you as a couple do better this year? The day before was what are your hopes for the new year? So some are more general, some are um, more specific. And yeah, I'm just so excited about this. I think it's so sweet. So journaling is high on my list of things I'm incorporating into my morning routine this year. I feel like I used to have such a long morning routine. Not long, but like so extensive. Like I had so many steps of things that I would do religiously every single day. And I don't know, I have just totally fallen off of it. And I have no reason not to have a morning routine if it makes me feel better. Because when I used to work my corporate job and work freelance on the side, I was so regimented because I had to be because I didn't have a lot of extra time between those two jobs. I would ha I would wake up at like 5 a.m. and have such a productive morning routine until like 7 and then start work. And now that I do freelance full time, I have gotten a lot of like flexibility in my schedule back that I used to not have and totally have taken advantage of it, probably too much. And I think I've just lost structure and motivation and routine and I don't love that for myself because it I see myself thriving more when I'm a little bit more regimented and start the day with a few steps in my morning routine so we're getting back into it this year and I starting becoming a morning person by setting up like a hundred things we have to do in the morning just because you saw someone else do it on TikTok or something is not sustainable and it's First of all, probably not going to make you feel good. So I feel like my biggest tips for becoming a morning person and making a morning routine are picking just a few things that are sort of like basic non-negotiables for you that actually do impact your day in a positive way. If something doesn't, if you can't find any sort of like benefit from doing something in the morning and you're just including it in your routine because you saw it online, then it's, it's probably a waste of your time. Um, but a few things that I am making myself do every morning that are so attainable, and I have no reason not to, are journaling because it just boosts my day so much. So I'm gonna start the morning with like 15 minutes of journaling every day. Some sort of movement in the morning, whether it's going to a class at the gym or doing 10 minutes of yoga or just going on a long walk. I, I don't wanna set myself up to be like, I have to do 45 minutes of an intense workout every single morning. I think that just leaves room for letting yourself down and then doubt seeps in and you're like oh I can't do this anyway you know I feel like 
doing something that is a little bit more flexible is way more sustainable long term. So some sort of movement in the morning and then breakfast every morning some sort of like healthy fueling breakfast because i am in a very bad habit of like waiting hours until i eat something and then i feel like it affects my mood so badly if i'm not eating first thing in the morning so i need to go get some breakfast but and water first thing in the morning. pre and probiotic my greens powder breakfast journaling movement that's what i'm setting myself up for this year so if you catch me slipping <laughs> Keep me in line. We're gonna go on a walk to the water, get some fresh air. I think it's 30 degrees out though, so it is chilly today. I really feel like Barbie in this outfit. My mom got me this onesie from Free People for Christmas. Look at how cute the back is. I feel like um, Barbie in the rollerblading scene. <laughs> it's definitely chilly, but I don't see a single cloud in the sky and it's really sunny out, so. It looks pretty nice out. We got a very exciting gift. We got two very exciting gifts for Christmas that I would have never asked for as a gift ever because they're big purchases. And John's parents got us one because I had been talking about it. And my mom got us the other one. And I wanted to cry when I opened both because I actually just cannot believe that we got both of these because I probably would have never asked for these from anyone. I probably would have just bought them in years from now. I really want to start making sourdough. <laughs> and John's dad was like, you need a Le Creuset to make, like you need one. They last forever, they're so nice, you need a Dutch oven. To my surprise, we opened this on Christmas and my jaw dropped to the floor. I could not believe it. I've been talking about wanting to make sourdough for months and I just feel like this is so thoughtful that they like remember me talking about that. I don't know. So stay tuned for some sourdough content. My mom got us a KitchenAid. I love to bake. This is actually 800 pounds and some recipes are so difficult for me to make without a mixer and I've been wanting a KitchenAid I think truly for years. My mom, we did Christmas, uh, I did Christmas with John's family because my mom got COVID which was so sad so and it's always just been me and my mom like we do every holiday together so it was so sad not seeing her but we dropped off some little goodies so she had some stuff to open and I did Christmas with John's family and then I did Christmas with my mom a week after so she came here we did a little Christmas here and we opened this a couple days ago and <laughs> I can't even believe it so I am stocked with kitchen appliances and this will be the year of Chef Blake I feel like I've been getting like five steps a day for the past few months <laughs> and I just like feel like I never leave my apartment in the winter. It's such a bad habit, so we're changing that. We just checked the mail and I got summoned for jury duty. And I've never been summoned for jury duty before. It's kind of exciting. What if I was put on a really cool case? Yeah. I might make some juice. Do you want some? I'll make some juice. It's 1025 right now and I think I first vlogged at like 8 a.m. So it's lasted a little. This side is for sure falling a bit, but we knew that would happen because this side was not as good as this. This is the juicer I have. It's basically a dinosaur. I usually juice when I have like a bunch of produce that is like really overripe and probably gonna go bad in the next couple days and I probably won't eat it. I totally 
blue and white um, like floral pattern pillows. I mean, they're cute. They kind of look green. I need to go see what they look like upstairs. I ordered a couple pairs of jeans because I haven't got a new pair of jeans in a while. I just need a good staple pair of jeans because I don't love any of my jeans recently. And I want a good pair of jeans that I like reach for anytime I don't know what to wear. And then I got this little face. I feel like our dining room needs a little bit more color. So I'll put this somewhere else. How cute is that? Oh my gosh, I love it. Let's see what these look like upstairs. I really like the size of them. But I feel like this is just too dark and too green. We're gonna try out the KitchenAid. I feel like baking something. I love baking this time of year when it's cold and there's nothing else to do. So I'm gonna make a vegan lemon tart. I've never made any sort of tart before. So this is my first time making this. This is from the rainbownourishments.com blog. One and a quarter cup of all-purpose flour, a third of a cup of vegan butter, three tablespoons, do I have butter in my hair? Yeah. Three tablespoons of granulated sugar, a tablespoon of cold water. This is so fun. <laughs> What it's looking like so far. I just added the filling to it. We don't have a tart pan, so that's why I'm using a pie pan. It's probably gonna be kind of hard to cut out of this because I think tart pans, like the bottom detaches. So next up on our list of things to get is a tart pan, but I'm excited. Now it has to go in the fridge for three hours and then it will be ready. I'm trying on these new jeans I got yesterday from Cezanne. I'm obsessed with these jeans. I love them. These are perhaps my favorite jeans I've ever put on my body. They are so comfortable. I love how long they are. I don't have a lot of jeans like this that are perfect to wear with like heeled boots or heels in general. I guess I could wear these, these with sneakers too, but they might drag. Uh, but I love them. It's worth it to me. I think I have to get them tailored because they fit everywhere perfectly. There's just so much room here. I am gonna wear them. For like an hour to see how they fit because if they stretch out a lot maybe i'll just size down but if not if they stay rigid and this is just loose i am going to get them hemmed because it 100 percent is worth it to me because these are the best jeans i've ever put on my body these are their wide leg jeans i just took off my pajamas i've been wearing them all day all morning it's like 10 30 right now i've been sitting at my desk in them so I'm finally getting dressed I ordered groceries from Whole Foods, which I never really do. But it was either that or Uber to the grocery store and Uber back, and that would have been more expensive than delivering them, so. I got sweet potato fries. I am sick and tired of cutting up sweet potatoes and having them come out like absolute when I make them myself. So, we got a frozen bag. The Sugar Girl Bakery sourdough, the best. Sushi rice. We do have sushi mats. I probably won't be making sushi, but I just like sushi rice better than any other rice. Nutritional yeast, coconut milk, Dijon. I go through Dijon so fast, not because I like the taste of it on its own, but when I'm baking or air frying salmon, mixing Dijon with olive oil, salt, pepper, garlic, maple syrup, lemon juice, oh my gosh, it makes with the perfect crispy texture on top of the salmon and you do not taste the Dijon. Also got some maple syrup. Tomatoes! I like to pick out my own produce uh, because I'm obnoxiously picky about it. Um, but you can't do that when you order online. I was very nervous because sometimes heirloom tomatoes are beautiful and sometimes they're not. <laughs> but these are really nice heirloom tomatoes. I got um, these to put with the Kite Hill Dairy Free Ricotta on 
and sourdough. Slice these up, put some salt on top. It is the most delicious thing ever. A couple green apples, some limes, and some lemons. Got some salmon. Kai Hill Dairy Fruit Ricotta. So good. Siggy's Non Dairy. This is. Am I okay? I'm just throwing things everywhere. Um, Siggy's Non Dairy yogurt is so good. The texture is delicious. I got the coconut, raspberry, and vanilla. Kite Hill non-dairy tortellini. This pizza place uh, in my hometown, their like signature pizza is tortellini pizza, and I used to have it all the time in high school. I feel like I should try to make my own. Almond milk. If you are looking for a good, simple ingredient, almond milk, oat milk, this brand, the Three Trees brand, and the new Califia Organic line, they all only have, I think they all only have three ingredients. Vegan A's, which I just hate the name of that. It sounds so gross. And I also don't even know if I've ever had this one. Hopefully it's good. Tempeh, I want to make like a maple garlic glazed tempeh and put it on toast and sourdough with tomato spinach or kale, some type of green, pesto. I feel like it would be so delicious. I got a ton of basil because we have a food processor. And one of the reasons I wanted to get it was to make my own pesto because I love pesto and I've never made it. I didn't get pine nuts, but I found a recipe online that said you could use walnuts and I would always have walnuts, so. I'm so excited. Vegan Caesar, raspberries, and then some blueberries. And that is everything. I'm not a full meal prepper, uh, meaning I don't like to prep every single meal. I don't like that there's not a lot of flexibility in that, which again is the reason most a lot of people do it. Like they like to have things planned out. I like something in the middle. So I like to prep. It, sometimes I'll do like one, one pot meal, whether it's like a soup or a risotto or something to have in the fridge so that days where I really don't have any time to have something ready, but usually I like to just prep ingredients, wash and store kale, just having things like ready to go as much as possible in the fridge cuts down on prep time during the week, so I just have to grab things that are already chopped and prepped and cook with them. Same with like any produce. If it's not ready to just grab and reach for and snack on in the fridge, you probably won't eat it. There's just no way. She just walks around in the water. What's going on, girlfriend? It's horrible. <laughs> Wait, the shelves? Did you put those up? Yeah, I did. Wait, I love them. I got them on Amazon. I'm just, I'm just vlogging. I love that. Apartment. I like that you're vlogging it because I have never shown it fully. <laughs> Motherhood is not what this. <laughs> Literally though, like I have wow. not had one single relaxing bath because she hops in. You're a little terror. Yeah. Wait, I'm obsessed with this. Yay! Okay. So do you do you want to give the vlog a tour? You? Yeah, vlog. You can get the first tour. I haven't posted anything on my own. Oh, me. Wait, am I allowed to? Oh yeah, of course. If anyone's getting a tour, it's it's the Swan Sinets. The Swan Sinets. <laughs> okay, welcome to my crib. This is my first time. So here. this is my dining area. I built all of this furniture myself. I love it. And this is. My living room area. I Which love this. I got the wrong color couch. Not on purpose. They sent me the wrong color couch. This they was sent white. the gray. It's gray. I call it blue just to hurt its feelings. The cabinet. And this is where no magic happens. This is where. Because no boys have been in here and they never will. Oh, again. thank. No, thank God. This is. This is a man free This is a zone. fresh man this free is my zone. This lamp that I just bought. This is very That's cute. That. Wait. This is my closet. We have exciting news. Oh god, what? You have exciting news. Caroline just like, signed with my agency. We you imagine. We are colleagues. Wait, I'm like vlog. Do we even like register? <laughs> if you think back from when we met like four years ago, can you even register the fact that that is our timeline? Like we met. We met. And neither of us were. Well, you were I was, you were close to doing it full time. Yeah, I was not. But full you were time. doing it full time. You were like figuring out like even like your rates and stuff. I was stuff still in my architecture. And program. I was working managing campaigns. I got what if we started like another channel that was like a couples channel? I think for it us. should be like a family channel, but it's just me. We should. Spray, oh, spray, wow. spray. 
It's giving, is it giving cotton candy? It's marshmallow and black currant, raspberry, oh and powdery, just like wow. yumminess. Wow. Some people love it and some people hate it. I love it. Do you like marshmallow? Yeah. Okay, wait, smell the one all the way in the back, behind the clear one. No, it's like the ugly bottle. Mm, oh, no. yes. <laughs> it's like literal marshmallow, like jet puffed marshmallow. Oh my god. Right? It's like the most mm. realistic marshmallow. That's lovely. And I've been layering that. But I think it's the most underrated one of all. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. They really know what they're doing. They really, I'm like so <laughs> It's so lovely in here. Oh good, we have time. Thank God. Okay, we're going, wait, don't look at what the name of the movie is. Okay. We're going, I want you to- Where's the Ow! I was like, where's the ah! We're going to see a movie tonight. And the thing is, is that I am very afraid of horror movies because I am the type of person because you're normal. I have the type of anxiety that only presents itself at night when they, when it's quiet. That's true. And John's asleep. If I watch anything scary or honestly I don't even need to watch anything scary. Any possible existential crisis thought comes into my mind at night. Mm. So I like to avoid anything that might make it worse. <laughs> so I don't watch horror movies. But Caroline finds comfort in them. I find comfort in them. Which is uh, which is something we'll take deeper into. Which I, which I should go to therapy for. And I feel like people don't think I'm serious, and I'm like, no, I literally no. watch eight twenty four movies to fall asleep because okay. I like to feel like my heart is beating out of my chest before I hit the pillow. So yeah, so the point is we're seeing the pool. <laughs> We did it. We did it. Wow. It feels pretty hard, does it? Okay. Mmm. <gasps> it's sugar and a grape. You can't really go wrong. I'm gonna call this a B minus. Wait, come look at the sugar. I'm scared. Oh, that's interesting to look at. <laughs> but it is 11.50 right now, so we're very much teetering on afternoon. We are getting a very late start to the day. We didn't just wake up, we woke up hours ago, but we've just been like lounging and just finally showered and got ready for the day. And I just had a quick breakfast, even though I'm leaving in 10 minutes to go get lunch. <laughs> so I'm going to grab lunch with my friend Kirsten, who I have not seen in so long. She has been on my vlogs like years ago. Um, she's my best friend from college and we just like don't live near each other anymore, which is really sad. Um, I'm like the farthest part of the city. She's outside of the city and I am like total opposite side of the city from where she even is close to. So we're quite far from each other and we don't see each other enough, which is, a bummer. So we're getting lunch today, which I'm very excited about. We're going to Barcelona Wine Bar in Cambridge, and I had no idea there was one there, but it's one of my favorite restaurants, so I'm very excited. I just made a coffee. I have been on my latte game lately. I always use the malt almond milk, just the unsweetened original one. My two favorite pods are both double espresso pods. I either use the double espresso dolce or the bianco doppio bianco doppio double espresso i love both of them they are delicious i always make a latte with those but the star of the show recently has been this creamer i just got this creamer 
oh, I just realized it expires today. So this was the last use probably. And then I'll have to, I almost got through it. Um, it's the Nut Pods Almond and Coconut Creamer and it's the Toasted Marshmallow flavor. This is so delicious and it's not super sweet, which I really like because I expected it to be. My lattes have just very much been on another level lately because of it. <laughs> I'm gonna wear my Reebok Club C's today. I think that's what these are. I love these and I never really wear them in the winter, but I, they're really comfy and I wanna be comfy. <laughs> back from lunch a little while ago it's four o'clock right now and it's so dark it feels like 8 p.m i really cannot wait until the sun sets or later i just put a face mask on because my skin is not on my side today it's just it's just not this is the indie lee clearing mask i've gone through a bunch of these and i love them tomorrow is sunday which is normally the day i do my Sunday reset, my deep clean, but there are a couple things I avoid every Sunday since we moved in. And that is the closet behind me, which is not organized at all, and under this bathroom sink. It is so disorganized and I need to order bins to organize under there because it's driving me insane. So that's what we're doing. <laughs> right now i might also in our laundry room there's uh just like an entire wall of shelves where we keep like tools and christmas decorations and our skis and snowboards and stuff like that and that also has no organization so i'm gonna measure everything and then order bins to organize it because let me just show you this is like the only, you can't even tell. This is the only drawer that really has little organizing bins in it, but there is so much stuff in here, you can't even tell. <laughs> so I should go through that, but the real issue is down here and here. I don't even know what's in there. I have a few little organizing bins in here, but they're obviously not doing much because it still looks like this. This isn't that bad, but what is this shelf? This is just a box that I moved all my hair stuff in, like hair tools, and it's just still been in that box since we moved in. So, need to go through that. We're getting things organized here. <laughs> a week the day before either the day before or the night before uh, I know I'm gonna wash my hair the next morning and I just let it soak in I get super dry hair and I actually feel like this has made it softer over the last week so I'm gonna wash my hair in the morning and I'm gonna let my I'm gonna braid it and just let my hair soak up all this oil until tomorrow morning this smells incredible. This is the brand Maria Nila. It's a Swedish brand and this is their True Soft Argan Oil. And it smells incredible. So I've been washing my hair like two times a week. So I do this like twice a week. The night before or the day before, I know I'm gonna wash my hair. And then for the other two nights, I am trying to be consistent about doing heatless curls most of the time so that I can have healthy hair. Anyway, welcome to a new day of the vlog. Today's Sunday. I am going to spend some time cleaning while John is um, working. He's at an opening event for one of his friends' companies and he is shooting some photo content for them, so 
I am going to clean while he's gone. piece of furniture for this wall after the Pottery Barn fiasco when we ordered one and it was just so <laughs> hideous. We haven't had anything here for a while because we returned that and we went to John's cousin's house recently and they had this in their dining room and I immediately was like we need to order this. I love it. It's from Paragold and I just think it's so stunning. I have to actually style it up here. I just like threw some random stuff on it so that it wasn't bare, but there's a shelf on the bottom and then we just threw some random things in here for now, like hand towels, an apron, <laughs> random like kitchen stuff. Living room is pretty clean, but I'm gonna tidy it up a little bit. neglected in here. I am going to tackle my office today, but I'm going to take a little break from cleaning and get some editing done. I have a few videos that I want to post between today and tomorrow. I'm going to start editing this YouTube vlog and get this posted probably tomorrow. John is on his way back now and a couple of our friends are going to come over later. We're going to have a little snow day game night, which will be fun. So I'm going to spend some time editing right now tackle cleaning this office and then get ready for them to come over. So I'm gonna end this vlog here, but I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you very soon in my next one. Bye!